Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore C sharp projects and project types. We will also look at what type of platforms that you can target with your C sharp project or C sharp application. But before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. C sharp obviously is a general purpose programming language supporting multiple paradigms. It encompasses static typing, strong typing, lexically scope, imperative, declarative, functional, generic, object oriented, and component oriented programming discipline. So, enough of all the talk, let's get into the real stuff here. So, as you can see on the screen, I've actually got a Visual Studio installer open, and I've got a Visual Studio 2022 open at the background. So, to get us started, let's look at date at the um, at the beginner's point of view. So we open the Visual Studio installer and we click on the modify. So to be able to get started, obviously there are multiple project types that you can you can use for C sharp in a Visual Studio. But to be able to get started in terms of building web apps or just installing the .NET. You can click on this first bit here. This is ASP.NET and web development. This will actually help you build web applications using .NET Core, ASP.NET, and whatnot. So this will actually have a C Sharp language support. But if you want to build a desktop application, you can also install the .NET desktop development. If you want to build a multiple UI or multiple platform application, which will actually target iOS, Windows, Mac OS from a single code base using the C Sharp and .NET MAUI, you can also check on this box as well. And or if you want to, you can scroll down. If you want to build a universal Windows platform, you can also check on this box. This will actually this will actually create uh, applications for the universal Windows platforms with C Sharp and other languages, right? So enough of all of that. So as you can see, I've got a couple of boxes checked. So if you haven't, make sure you check some boxes and then you click on download and install from this, this part, yeah? So enough of all of this part, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is just gonna close that. Once you actually download and install all the, all the necessary workloads here, we, we're just gonna close that Visual Studio installer. So now, we get we open the click on the file in the start window. So here we click on the create new project. So as you can see here, there are a bunch of projects and project types that you can create once you install a bunch of the workloads that I've actually showed you. So here on the languages here, we will be able to select the C sharp language. So this will actually make available all the project types that you can create in a .NET using that C sharp language, right? So let's let's look through a couple of them here. So you can create a command line application that runs on .NET on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So this is just this is a console, yeah. Or you can create ASP.NET Core web app. So this is a project template for creating a for creating an ASP.NET Core application with example. ASP.NET call Razor page content. Yeah, you can also create a, a Blazor server app. And there are, there are a lot of applications that you can create on this part. So let's look at what platforms that you can target with your C sharp application or C sharp language. So if we look at it here, we've got all platforms, but here on the drop down, you can target Android, Azure, iOS, Linux, Mac OS. TVOS, Windows, and Xbox. So if we select one of these bit here, for example, Android, this will actually display all the project types or all the projects that you can build with C Sharp targeting Android platform. Yeah. You can also select other other parts, other bits, yeah, like Linux. So here you can you can build all these type of projects and type um target a Linux. So enough of all of this part here. Yeah. So let's 
going back on all platforms and look at the project types here. So if we look, if we click on the, all project types here, as you can see, there are lots and lots of project types that you can you can target with your C sharp product, I mean, with a C sharp language, right? So there are some of it that have not even downloaded, like let's say Office. So as you can see, there's no exact project templates here because it's not downloaded. If you want to do that, obviously you can you can go back to the uh, to the uh, Visual Studio installer and download the necessary workloads for this. Yeah, you can also target. You can build a desktop application. So if we click on that here, so as you can see, we've got a bunch of templates to get us started, like building a Windows Forms, building a WPF applications and whatnot, yeah. So we could also target, like we can build games, yeah. But as you can see, I've not got the, the workload installed, so there's nothing showing. But if you look into install the workloads from here, what you can also do is click on the install more tools and features. So this will actually open the installer again. And it will take you to the workloads part of the installer. So here you can scroll down. And as you can see here, we've got um, game development with Unity, game development with C++ and whatnot. So obviously if you want to use C Sharp for game development, uh, you can check on this box, right? So enough of all all of this yeah so let's go back to the visual studio so here obviously we can also target maui so maui is uh is used for building a cross-platform application with c sharp targeting um, obviously targeting multiple platforms so we, we click on this and make a very simple example before i sign off yeah so here obviously you're gonna configure your project details so here you, you're gonna select a what dot net framework that you want to use. So here, as you can see, we've got the project being created. So I'm just gonna pause. So here we've, we've actually got a um, a Maui project here. So if we look at it here, let's let's come back to the let's look at. Here, so if we click on this drop down, as you can see, for this single project, yeah, we'll be able to target the .NET, the .NET framework, or we can target an, an Android, an Android device, or an Android emulator, or we can target a, an iOS device. So basically, these are the uh, these are the platforms that you can target with just with just one single code base using the MAM. So as you can see, C Sharp is very versatile and you can target a lot of platforms. Yeah. So basically this is this video is just to get us started. So I'll come back to this video and we make it a little bit more, we get into it more details. Which is why if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because you know I've got lots of videos coming up, especially if you're a beginner, yeah, and trying to understand what type, what type of Projects that you can build with your C sharp. Yeah. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.